like a phoenix Born from the ashes I take care of my own Torn down where I sassin You can't suffocate my spirit Cause I'm the king of my own throne My own throne King of my own throne My own throne I'm Matt Luke, a product manager from Palette, and today I'm going to introduce this kind of product. Uh, this is our new RTS 50 Get Rock Graphic Card. You can see our uh, Get Rock for RTX 5090, 5080, and 70Ti. This feature is about a command panel. You can see different kinds of color from different kinds of angle. That's a big feature of this car. The coming out, you can see that our Gaming Pro it's our main street three fence car and with a small part of a light and the solid structure and also we have a slim version called game pro s so they are the same series but with kind of different kind of uh, uh, dimensions and here we have infinity and this is our entry three cars with two slot sign and uh, it fits nvidia sf ready enthusiastic car graphics cars uh, Rule. So it's a very compact, compact design for some people who would like to use small case. And also we have two fan solution duo. It's for RTX 5060 Ti and the RTX 5090. It's a dual fan solution with two slots. Very compact design for very very small uh, case user. And also we got a white car for. RTX 5070, but now they are not for sale now, and uh, we are going to plan it to launch at uh, 2025 Q3. Okay. And here, it's part of a uh, it's part of the Pelico game world, and we also have our flagship three fan solution Benton. It's very solid and uh, dark dark style for its car, and uh, with uh, ARGB at the north side and also we got a Phoenix it's our main street 3 fence car as well and uh, it also have the same slim version called Phoenix S they are very, they are very famous and with small ARGB at the north side and also we got uh, SF Ready enthusiastic graphics car for, uh, for Python it's for RTX 5070 Oh, it's very it's small and compact design with two slots, less than 300 millimeters. So it's very good for some people who like to use small case and with a powerful game uh, graphics card. And also two band solution for cost. We also got a RGB lighting at north side, and the list card is for RTX 60 Ti and the RTX uh, 5060. And also we got a white car, and uh, we are and this is. Under considering, so we uh, we are not hopeful to tell you what will be launched in the future. Okay. And this is our three D make. Uh, this is our three D maker uh, feature. It's supposed to supposed uh, gaming pro series and game pro S series and also dual series. And our main goal is to let everybody can show their creativity to make a their own style car on a graphics car. So we prepare this kind of a file on our website. You can easily download it and uh, by 3D print, print it and then you can paint. And also we got another version called flat version. You can build what you want on that on that uh, version and then make own make your own like this car. Dude, the dark age we cooperate with NVIDIA. We use the flat flat version to build this kind of a uh, lots of uh, feature about this car. You can see that it's also maker, and that's really fit to our Dune Dark Ages things. And also, this is a um, Taiwanese model cooperate with Palette uh, Monster Hunter Wild. It's the famous character, the Kate, and. Uh, it totally with uh, go with uh, 3D Maker, and this is a real graphics car here. 
and uh, combined with 3D Maker feature. This camera was planned to make uh, such a masterpiece. And here is uh, MV Zone from NVIDIA. They got lots of different kinds of application. For example, you can say this uh, function called G Assist. It can be your personal GC Assist to help you do something. You just give in a call, give in a command, and it will help you do something what you want. And also, here yeah, is a game called Half Life 2. It's an old game, but with a bit of new technology called a remix. You can let it become a new modern games like a three, like three, uh, three A games to show the different kind of quality. And they are the uh, media show the uh, critical uh, technology called DLSS and the frame generation. Uh, which is kind of a uh, technology you can uh, sh you can enjoy the very high high end gaming experience about your gaming. No matter your FPS or your resolution, you can show you can show the most incredible gaming experience about the game. And finally, the, the fourth application is called uh, is called three D rendering. You can just change the uh, you can just change the angle or the uh, position of all the items, and then you can render it right away. What do you change? You, what do you change, and then you will render what you want. So that's a that's a quick response for this application. Here are our concept design for this one. This RTS 590 Genrock Diamond Look. Uh, I think a lot of people know that we our Genrock have a big feature about the uh, uh, Diamond Look design. But since RTS 590, we change our uh, we change our style. But lots of people are get us feedback about us that we like Diamond Look. We like Diamond Look. We want Diamond Look back. So this time during the Computex. We create this kind of product uh, with RTX 59 Game Rock and uh, combined with our Diamond Look. So you can see appearance, there's a big appearance uh, uh, with Diamond Look and that's very uh, really brightly. And also, it's called RTX 590 Tornado. This car is very, this car is focused on its compact design uh, within RTX 590, the hunger power monster in it. And it's also full metal design, so we we'll try to put that. We we'll try to produce a, a very compact product uh, within a very huge performance graphics car. And finally, you can see that this is our uh, uh, co-op project with Link Plus. Uh, it's an innovative company in Germany. Uh, we co-op with them with this uh, water cooling project. So the, the feature is about a trip free and quick connect. You just need to connect the connector quick easily and then you can run a, run a graphics car easily. And someday if you want to uh, change the car, you just need to change this part and you can keep, you can keep a re radiator with one and then reconnect again and it will be drop free. Thank you for coming Pally Group and well, really happy to see you guys too see our new product and see you next time thank you sir welcome to yuan uh, we are the company uh, based on the uh, nvidia jason link to provide the ai edge computing so we have a product showcase here is called the pandora pandora is a very powerful ai edge computing for the customer to easy developing the, the ai uh, programming and function so this product can easily to expansion to use so customers can install the video capture car to the Pandora to do the video capture then we can provide the 3D uh, printing by customer can uh, easily bring out the caching by themselves so they are able to using our uh, uh, capture car this is the NDA2 capture car so the video can capture into the AI box so you are able to do the AI inference in, in real time can contain with a different video source and also we provide the camera uh, input uh, interface for different kinds of camera such as uh, HDMI for the GoPro 
or from the GKE, from the from the for the bus and the USB for the Logitech camera. So all the camera can input to the AI bus. So so this is to provide the communication module for the Pandora as well. It's including the 4G, 5G uh, module, and also GMSS module and the Wi-Fi module. So it are able to uh, send out the data or receive the data by wireless. And also it, it, we provide the I.O. port to connecting with different uh, equipment such as robotic arm. So customer are able to uh, control the robotic arm by the GPIO or DIO port. From our, from our Pandora. So this is the section to introduce the Pandora. And we can change further here. So this pavilion is to, to, to demo the AI vision robotic. So for the first side, we are using the AI to do the uh, people flow analysis and also heat map analysis. So there are a camera installed in this show to receive the uh, live video feed, then all the video come into that device. So that device can do the AI edge computing in real time. So you are able to uh, announce the, uh, the people to stay in, in special area. Okay, so yeah, you can see this uh, live demo. So this is a dashboard to show in the each session. So how many people stay here? in one time. So also, so, all the thing is powered by the AI edge computing. It's here. So the, the A channel camera is come to here at the same time. Okay. And uh, this is doing the uh, uh, smart family or smart architecture uh, in my, uh, uh, user scenario. So we provide the AI edge computing in the AMR device, so AMR device can take a live video, can do the AI, uh, AI uh, analysis. So customers can using in the uh, in the open field uh, web, they can using the AI to uh, identify the web uh, cross up situation. Or this device, including the sensor, uh, it can uh, detect the humidity, detect the temperature, and uh, route the farmer to know it's need to adjust. Uh, the, uh, to, to bring more water, or to fill more water, okay. So it's a sensor and uh, combined with uh, AI edge computing together. Okay. And our customers are also using our AI edge computing in the smart zone, in the zone. So when the zone is doing the uh, navigation or doing the inspection, so it can transfer the live video feed and uh, doing the AI at the edge, then send back the metadata to the, to the control center. Okay. Yeah, we are in the smart health care uh, user generally application. So the, the demo we are showcased here is to uh, showing uh, from 2D transfer to 3D by using the AI. So at the first step, when the live video feed is just 2D, so we are using AI to examine the position to change for uh, 3D. Then secondly, we are using AI to calculate uh, the another eyes to generate an, an, another video, then AI can combine the two videos together as a 3D video. So we are working with the Japanese uh, university and uh, so they, they provide the 3D model and we help them to optimize the video, optimize the AI. So doctors are using this in the training course to train the doctor, a student, to using the normal 2D to do the operation. Because this can transfer to to the 3D, okay. <laughs> and uh, and uh, this demo is also uh, for a healthcare uh, application. So uh, the device, this one, the play box, which are able to transfer the video from 2D to 3D, and also it can uh, transform the different 3D type to let the device uh, compatible. It can convert from the side by side to the nine by nine, or nine by nine to top and down. Cause there are different kind of uh, 3D uh, format. So it need to convert. So the original signal is just side by side, side by side, 3D. 
So after this converter box, it converts to 9 by 9. This solar line is 9 by 9. So this is a 2D to 3D converter box. And this box can transfer the video from HDMI, HDI, then convert to a optical IPR. So all the IP can into this uh, device to do the AI edge computing in real time. Okay. And uh, the, this box uh, has different kind of a video input interface. We call the multi. It, it's for the multi, uh, many kind of video input to this AI, to this uh, converter. This converter will convert all the signal to the IP. Okay. And here is showing the live demo for the healthcare application. So this one is a small AI box which are able to connect into the AI camera and do the real time AI. So this, this is a, a, called the LLN and the VLN. So it can do it on the video and no training. So it can describe what it thinks from the live video. Then you can set out a plan to do some detection to detect the people is fell down or to tell the people is out. So we can change it to the live video. So right now is a live video from this camera, from this camera. So you can uh, let then to identify the video, yeah, yeah. So you will come out reload, right? Yeah, yeah. Look out. Yeah. So you will, yeah. You go there, huh? Yeah. So this is a very. Uh, Use this case, uh, you can use it in the hospital, in the elderly people, uh, the retirement house. Okay. Okay, here. So here we have a lot of uh, AI edge computing product. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, AI edge computing uh, daughter ball and the system that the customer can use. Yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, in different kind of cases, smart city, smart retail. Smart factory, all can using our AI computing. Okay, thank you.